Hello, this is Dan. And Phil. Oh, you like Chocolate Ring. You are listening to BBC Radio 1, where for the next hour, some of the biggest stars of the internet take control of your radio. Oh, Charlie! I am Charlie McDonald. Ah! My name's Jack Howard. And I'm Dean Dobbs. It's a Leo Blue down, Charlie. Oh, my God, I'm so... Hello, everyone. Is this thing on? This is the Internet Takeover. One Direction with history, and you're now listening to and watching, hopefully, Dan and Phil. One BBC Radio One. Hello, everybody. Hello. It is the first Monday of the month at 9 pm, which means you are listening to Dan and Phil on the Internet Takeover on BBC Radio One, which means two terrible things. We are in control of the music and the conversation, which is why you just heard One Direction right off the back of Annie Mac. <laughs> yes. I thought classic. that flowed in quite it's nicely. Good. We don't decide the schedule, but. We have a job to do, Phil. Yeah. It's important, okay? It is. One Direction, their last song ever. How do you feel about it, It wasn't their last song ever. They're on hiatus, Dan. Obviously. Hiatus. (laughs) I can't take my posters down yet. No, honestly. Did you watch the video, though? Yeah. I was like, Fetus Larry, you can't do this to me. I actually had Little Welling Up, and I needed to take a step back and look at my life. I had jealousy pains over Niall's glasses. Did you just say jealousy pains and, like, hold your kidneys? I I might get my some of those okay, glasses. so other than talking about One Direction, in 15 minutes we're going to tell you about all the things that have happened in the world this week in internet news. Later on we'll be continuing our battle in the 7 second challenge. Yeah, and you can watch us online at bbc.co.uk forward slash radio one where you will see that Dan has had a full body tattoo of One Direction in memory. That's that's not true, but that's fine. Just that's trying good. Trying to get people on the website. But of course, history is just one half of the news at the moment yes. as the world has been blessed with the beautiful angel, formerly known as Zayn Malik. <laughs> now, just Zayn with his first single. We're going to play this now. Okay. We can talk about it after, Phil. Let's do it. So if you've been living under a rock and you just need to, you know, know what the most important things in the world are right now, here is Zayn's new single. This is Pillow Talk on Radio.
Zayn Pillow Talk. Zayn. Z- I like to say his name in a Geordie accent. Was that necessary? I don't know. Why did you do that? I just felt like it. So, Phil, thoughts? Um, Hit us. Zane's first it was, single. It was pretty good. I don't mm-hmm. think it's going to stick in my head for a long time. Yeah? Uh, I might need to listen a few times. I couldn't really understand what he was saying. Yes, Phil, the vocals were overproduced. That's, yeah. that's my opinion, It sounded too. a little yeah, bit like... Good lyrics, good good melody, but it was just a bit too heavy. Like if he was singing with a small marshmallow in a ch- one of his cheeks. Uh-huh. So, do you know, he's like, it sounded like... The start of the yeah. chorus. Let's eat all the spiders. He didn't say, so let's eat all the spiders. No, Though I don't I know what he said. I can confirm that's, that's not what he said. But okay, good review, Phil. New Zane single. Yeah. Yeah. Dan and Phil on BBC Radio 1. Dan's sick, by the way. <laughs> just going just gonna to drop that, are you? Yeah. Yes. Yes, everybody. I have a cold at the moment. If you're wondering why I sound like a strangely erotic goose, that is probably why. You could go on a goose chat line like, oh, ha, huh, touch my feathers. Don't say that, Phil. That's, oh, uh, I'm ooh. sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa. I don't know where Whoa. I was going with that. What did you just say? <laughs> okay, that's strange. Um, so what's been happening in the world other than One Direction and uh, goose hotlines? Well, in the news, I had a birthday. Of course. That's very important. Yay! You need to share that with everybody. Everybody. I survived another Everybody year. Everybody cares. Well yeah. done. Thank you. How was it? It was great. Uh-huh. I ate a pizza bigger than my entire body. Birthday goals. Ingested the whole thing. That's all you need, really. Rolled around on the floor and made <laughs> whale noises afterwards. It was Ryan fantastic. <laughs> However, yeah. my mum did send me some cookies, and it was a lovely crumbly cookie top, and then there was dark chocolate, and then a little thin You're white chocolate make everybody base. dribble while they're yeah. driving, Phil. Stop so describing the cookie. I ate one and a half of these cookies before realising <laughs> that the white chocolate base was actually paper and it <laughs> <laughs> so so phil ate paper i did but the best thing about this incident was that phil ate an entire one of these yeah. cookies and went don't something something was They're weird chewy. Like, there was something weird about these cookies i'm gonna eat another one <laughs> just to <laughs> see what was so then phil had another cook and ate an entire other square of paper yeah. i'd eat another one though it's still pretty good that's what i wanted to talk about today not eating paper but birthday fails Classic. has anything gone wrong on your birthday that you can tell us about. Tweet us with hashtag birthday fails <laughs> or you can text us on 81199. And I want them to be unusual and strange. Okay, so true special day catastrophes yeah. that Do will you... make Phil feel a bit better about digesting some trees. Like in Friends when Rachel put beef in the trifle because <laughs> the cooking pages were stuck together. At least that's kind of edible. You literally ate yeah. paper, Phil. Yeah, anyway, so get those coming in. Anyway, mm-hmm. now I was looking at the Radio 1 playlist to choose some songs That's for a cool thing today. that people do sometimes. And yeah. I came across one Band that I hadn't heard of <laughs> called Lion Babe. Yes. Uh-huh. Lion Babe. And it's not just in small letters, it's in full capitals. They are, they are called capitals Lion so, Babe. So have you got to say it like Lion Babe? I'm sure that's exactly how they want everyone yeah. to talk about them. Anyway, I had a listen and I actually really like the song. So here is Lion Babe with Where Do We Go?
So that was Lion Babe. Do you like it? Do I like it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had heard of Lion Babe, oh. and I do like them, actually. They're like a, a new Aluna George. Maybe one book. of them is called Lion, and one of them is called well, Babe. The <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm Babe. Nice to meet you. Or one of them's called Lion Babe, and the other one's just got a silent name. I'm sure that's definitely it, Phil. Yeah. You've hit the nail on the head there. We had a tweet from Aoife who said, On my birthday, I literally got a fish hook stuck <laughs> in my shin. Mm, oh, that's ouch. worse than eating paper. That's not how to birthday do fishing. Birthday fails have got it off to a good start. Okay, thank yeah. you, people I like that of the she internet. was fishing on her birthday, though. Wow, going outside? That's yeah. not relatable. So keep those coming you in know how to do with this. hashtag birthday fails. And now it is time to delve into the world of the news with internet news. <laughs> was that your intro? Yeah. Delve into the... <laughs> Just do it. Internet news. This is the internet news. Internet news. By far, the most important thing that's happened in the world this week is Kanye's Twitter meltdown. Oh, yes, yeah. this happened the other day. So <laughs> Kanye went on Wiz Khalifa's Twitter and saw him tweeting things with the initials KK and thought he was talking about his wife. Ooh. Turns out that he was he was wrong about that, but that didn't stop him doing basically like a hundred tweet breakdown, which just included so many gems. We're going to flash them up on the screen. All My right. favorite one was, I may not be skinny and tall, but I'll just have to settle for being the best person to ever do music. I want that, that was good. somewhere. Another one we? was where he said, I own your child to his Khalifa. <laughs> that was quite blunt. He did come out and say that. But apparently this distracted him from yeah. his creative process, which Oof. is very upsetting. Because I'm, I'm looking forward to the album. But then he complimented Wiz Khalifa on his trousers he did. and forwarded them to his style team. So it ended out well, I think. How were you feeling during all this drama? Well, as we all know, Kanye is the only person whose Twitter I have on push notifications on my phone. And all of this happened wow. at about 4 a.m. That was so a party. So I kind of didn't. Uh, yeah, man, it was a roller coaster. <laughs> I was like, is this real or not? Which is basically my life. Are you ever going to have a, a Twitter Kanye meltdown? Fan. What, what would I have a meltdown about, Phil? Maybe that I'm wearing black. Stop wearing my colors. Get off my brand, Phil. Yeah. You're jacking my swag. Yeah, that's going to happen in an hour. Look Internet to news. All right, we have an insect warning on the screen. This is horrific. If you are scared of things with lots of legs or no legs, just close your eyes. Things. Okay, set them up. Okay, a man tries to pull a weird worm out of a hole and gets a terrifying surprise. Should we just leave it at that? Yeah. Here's the video. Oh, oh look, it's, it's, a, it's a cute bug. What no! the? Oh, oh my god! Oh, okay. Oh, um, oh, told you that was literally the most horrific thing you ever see. So, to anyone in the car that's just oh, like, did they die? What just happened? Why was Phil? he reaching into the hole of maggots anyway? I mean, who thinks, oh, I'll give that a poke? There's a spider that has a little appendage that looks like a worm yeah. to like trick things. And then suddenly, a giant spider erupted Rawr. out of this hole and attacked the hand. Maybe it just so. wanted a hug. Yeah. Yeah. Pro no, the spider literally wanted to kill the thing. It wants that to kill us all. It. But internet there's internet news. In story three, when it comes to rappers being a bit embarrassing on the internet, B.O.B., also known as Bobby Ray Simmons Jr., Bob. has been having a bit of a, a Twitter rant, Bob, about the earth being flat. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And this went on for a while. A lot of people were making fun of him, so he did what any logical person would do, make an entire song about it, where you diss <laughs> one of the world's most famous celebrity astrophysicists. Yeah. Like, I don't understand how it works, though. What, the, the concept of the Earth being flat? Wouldn't flying to Australia be a bit of a roller coaster? Like, whoosh! Then you're gonna go upside down. Listen, that's the thing, Phil. It yeah. doesn't make any sense. No. That's why, although this might convince you, he said, hey, no matter how high in elevation you are, the horizon is always eye level. <gasps> Whoa! Someone call just, Mulder and it's Scully. It's just really big. There's no reason for that. Okay. Internet news. Okay. Here's some breaking news. The top 10 jobs for psychopaths have been revealed. Essential information. Yes. Phil, tell us what kind of people are apparently psychos. If anyone watching this is a lawyer, a salesperson, or a chef, then take a long, hard look at all of your colleagues. Chef, really? Yeah. They, I mean, C CEO and lawyer, that makes sense, but chef. Could, well, I mean, you're sharpening knives all day, aren't you? I'm Just sure that's the meat. explanation, Phil. Yeah, is there anything yeah. else interesting there? In number three in the list is TV and radio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's stop. I'm scared. Back to Dan the Phil in the studio. The Internet News. <laughs> wow, the tension between those guys gets more dramatic every week. I know, right? And while we're on horrific spider stories, if you're oh. still scared, don't listen to this. 
Do you know there's a job that is a spider milker? <laughs> no, seriously. What? What they do is they have to tickle spiders and release their venom. Oh, don't say tickle and release in the to, same sentence. To though. produce anti-venom. So it's a really important job, but the official title is a spider milker. Anyway, there's your fact to tell your friends for and the day. The, the world is worse for everybody listening to the radio. Yeah. OK, so keeping this about Kanye, obviously, he has released two new songs since our last radio show. So obviously, what? it is my duty to do this. He's been saying it's like the resurgence of Good Friday where he releases one up until his album. Okay. I've got that in my calendar. <laughs> really? I'm a, I'm a running joke. But this is the first of them. I'm going to play it for you now because it's my job. This is Kanye West with Real Friends on Radio 1. Kanye with real friends. Oh, yeah. See, after Facts came out, I was a bit like, uh, what's happening with the new music? And then that happened. And I was like, yes, <laughs> everything's fine. But wait, Phil, break, breaking, breaking news. Joy. Whoa. Breaking news. About an hour ago, Kim tweeted, new poll, which album title do you like best? And then gave everybody the option of Swish Waves or So Help Me God. I like Swish. This is imp do you like Swish, Phil? Swish. That's the wrong answer. The oh. right answer is so help me God. There okay. we go. Which is currently winning. I'm just letting you know so you can all do your important duty as citizens of the earth. Down and Phil.
They escape from the internet and climbed into your ears. In more exciting news, you guys are telling me why your birthdays were a disaster. Uh-huh. We had one from Copper Howell who said, When I was six, I tried to lean over the birthday cake to blow out the candles and my hair caught fire. No, no. So, I, I was okay, but I lost about an inch of my hair. It's a free haircut though, right? Free, exactly. Yeah. That is a positive spin. Yeah. We had another one that said, Once on my birthday, I grabbed what I thought was squirty cream out of the fridge to put on my cake, and it was actually mayonnaise, and I ruined the entire cake. Oh, that's quite oh. horrific. No, that's that, that's that, bad. That would not work. And we've got one that is just so aspirational here from <laughs> Lauren. I just love this. She said, I had a PE exam on my birthday and I failed the exam because I pulled a muscle getting changed into my sports kit. <laughs> wow. Same. That, that, is, that me. is a metaphor for my life. Thank you so much. Yep. That was um, good. One more from Morg Morg. Morg Morg. She said, My mom got a little petting zoo and an alpaca chased my friends. Oh. We were nine. A harrowing memory of your friends almost being eaten by a giant rampaging alpaca alpaca my, my brother got abused by a giant goose in a similar circumstance you have geese bright, are terrifying yeah. violent creatures he had everybody bright, knows this. bright orange hair and it would just <laughs> peck at his head any small ginger children they're the ones at most risk from goose attack they're irresistible who's to yeah. say they don't look like bread i know it's like a, a giant crust with legs. I think there's some stranger birthday fails out there, so please keep them coming in with hashtag birthday fails or text us on 8199. So now, obviously, I've got a very important job here. I said that Kanye has released a couple tracks since we no. last did our radio show. You can't do a double Kanye. Well, <laughs> I think you're mistaken. I can do a double Kanye because for some reason Radio 1 gave us a show after a certain time where we can choose the song. So wow, okay. I can play Kanye twice and I am going to. So this kind of it changed my life when I woke up and I realised that Kanye had apparently done a song with Kendrick Lamar. Mm-hmm. It's just as good as the last one. So just let yourself be improved as I play another Kanye song for you now. This is No More Parties in LA featuring Kendrick Lamar.
Kanye and Kendrick, no more parties in LA. I think I should get my own double bill next week. Do you? Yeah. What, what would you think choose? Gonna fall out boy, my chemical romance. Oh, Spice pan- Girls. Pandering to the internet. Okay, Spice, Spice Girls. Girls. That's a bit random. S Club. No one was alive then. Busted. What's the opposite of Kanye? That's what I was trying to think. Peppa Pig. The Pope Francis album. Maybe. That's a thing. I, I'll have know. a think. I'm having my own fi- double bill next time. It has I don't know what that means, but there we go. <laughs> anyway, we've had some more birthday fails. An amazing okay. one from Kirsty, who said, Everyone was singing happy birthday, including my crush, and I was about to blow out the candles, but I had a mouthful of cocktail sausages, and I couldn't <laughs> swallow them in time. So I sprayed cocktail sausage all over the cake in front of everyone. Oh, Kirsty. Cocktail, There's no just, coming back from that's that. That's such a birthday party <laughs> snack. I can yeah. just visualise that so cl- Just like <laughs> tiny sausages hitting oh, him in the face. No. Just like a barrage of everywhere. sausages. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Um, Alex was at the Natural History Museum <laughs> for their birthday, and Alex got lost in the dark for three hours and cried. That sounds fun. Thank yeah. you for sharing that. Dinosaurs can be pretty scary. Riley managed to get a paper cut from a streamer. Oh. That I'm now afraid of those forever. Is anything safe? Nothing. And Mila uh, was sick on her birthday and went to a bowling party and told everybody it was a bad idea and then ended up projectile vomiting whilst she was trying to throw no, the ball. <laughs> that is gross. That's a shiny surface as well. It also made the game a bit more difficult. That would handicap. Yeah. Bonus round. Lauren had a snow globe fall onto her nose and India got a pom-pom stuck up her nose and had to get it removed from hospital. There's a lot of nose-themed incidents. A pom-pom? Yeah. As in those giant things cheerleaders? What? I, I think maybe like a little one from a clown. Oh, okay, because I was like... <laughs> That doesn't make sense. I, okay. I enjoyed those, though, so thank you for those. Hashtag birthday fails for more. Anyway, sometimes when we interview a celebrity... That happens sometimes. You may get visited by 800 managers who are like, what are you going to ask? What They're are you going to do? They're Who's just there do? to protect them yeah. from us, Phil, because we're weird. Or they may be slightly alien-like and a little bit strange, but not Jack Garrett. We met him, and he was the <laughs> nicest person he was ever. a normal human being. I say, can confirm. I say he gets a 10 out of 10 nice points from me, and he that's a rare, the Phil a rare rating. Phil's seal of approval. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was actually so nice. He left the impression. I thought, I know, I'll repay the favour, Jack, and play you on the radio. This live lounge performance is insane. It's really it's good. It's absolutely amazing. He blends together Seven Days by Craig David and Senorita by Justin yeah. Timberlake. If you haven't seen this, you can actually watch it on the radio you website now. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash radio one to experience the glory that is Jack Garrett now. What blown is your mind right now? It's leaking out of my ears. <laughs> Good. This is BBC Radio 1. So, something really cool is happening tomorrow that I should tell you guys about. Dad's going to be on TV! Really, Phil? Yeah. I, I was. I had a whole build-up plan oh. for that. I was going to be... Oh, so, so, Sorry. Yes, yes. Tomorrow <laughs> night... I got overexcited. <laughs> tomorrow night at 9pm on BBC3, they are showing a documentary film that I made over last summer all about the world of esports. Ooh, and that for right. the people that don't know what esports is, can you educate us? Well, Phil, and people listening that are like, what? People compete in video gaming tournaments for money yeah and some people like to watch this happening except the money is like a million dollars and the people watching it is like a hundred million people watching it live on the internet so yeah. it's a big deal and a crazy story to tell i had a sneaky peek of dan's documentary and i thought it was really it. good I, I had no are, idea are you just saying that no no it was really good i had no idea esports was such a huge thing it got me pumped like a sports anime it's insane they've got it's, commentators they've got screens can we put that on the poster it'll get you pumped <laughs> Like, like a sports, sports anime, anime, which is, you know, the only... F- or, like, actual sport, yeah. I- if you want to be more relatable to some of the people that might be out there listening. I don't do any but of that. But it's great. Like, these guys, they live in a gaming house with their teammates yeah. in the middle of Europe, and they just play games for 12 hours a day they to do. become, like, the world's best gamers. It's absolutely insane. And what do you do in the show? What do I do? Yeah. Well, I, um, I do a lot of walking around. Yeah. I, sometimes I stand with my hand on my chin, pondering nice. intellectually, like Louis through Some strong like, narration. Like, there is, and there is some strong narration. That is what you have to look forward to. I'm not going to tell you much more, because, yep. you know, spoilers and how I'm against that. But if you want to check out the crazy world of professional video gaming, that is BBC3 tomorrow at 9pm. We will be watching again. <laughs> will we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you'll watch it with I want to watch it again. It's worth a second watch, people. <laughs> Fill with the quotes. I want to play another live lounge now, and this okay. is from a guy that I actually discovered from listening to One Extra while we were in the studio before doing our last show. This guy came fifth 
in the BBC Sound of 2016 list. That was the noise for five. Impressive corporate plug you got there. This is Muramasa, whose music I've been listening to a lot recently. And this is a performance of his that was live from the Radio 1 Future Festival. This is his song, Love For That. I hope you enjoy. Are you adding with the, the ambient thing there? Yeah, yeah that was really... Muramasa, new music. It's very chill and eclectic. You can check him out. But now, Dan, the time for talking is over. I'd argue that actually there's a, a lot of talking yeah, in the game that we're about true. to play, so that's not accurate at all. <laughs> this is the most intense... <laughs> the tone of this show is all over the place. <laughs> this is the most intense for second radio feature of all time. The seven second challenge. <sighs> okay, oh. here we go. Phil, would you like to explain for the uninitiated what the seven second challenge is? Yeah, it's not very complicated. You just have to do whatever the other person says in seven seconds and it's sudden death meaning yeah. the first person to fail loses but what are we playing for phil why are we doing this the other person gets to play whatever they want on the radio mm -hmm. uh, which thing... technically we can do it but this yeah. is like even this is not double kanye this is like really it's, wow it's like a wild card yes i'd go ahead and say that yeah so are you ready phil i'm ready i use that who's gonna go first um you can you can go first really yeah. um, i have to do the challenge first yes i didn't think that through okay hit me phil i'm in the zone Dan, yes. Say four emotions in the tone of that emotion. <laughs> Angry, jealous, guilty, sad. <laughs> and one of them was rubbish, so I'm like, oh. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm, oh, was that acceptable? Please, I, I'm so desperate. I'm going to give you a ding because I liked the, sang the sad so much. Sad. Sad. Thank you. Well Just an accurate representation of myself. Are you ready for your first one, Phil? Yeah. Make up a rap about birthdays. Go. Birthdays, birthdays. They're the best. Hopefully you won't get a vest. Would that be a birthday fail? Word. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I did a good rap! Wait, 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 for, wait, 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 yeah. wait. No, the time's not... Glass match. Yes, Phil. There we go. <laughs> Too no, much glass. Not, not women screaming. That's that's <laughs> worrying. Okay, okay. You rhymed yeah, and yeah. made it relevant to the show. You get a zesty ding for that one. All right, hit me. Zesty. <laughs> Invent a terrible viral video craze. Um, the the ham slapping challenge. Yeah. What? You get some ham and you hit yourself in the face <laughs> with it. It's gonna be all over Facebook that's... tomorrow. But it's like sliced ham, so it wouldn't hurt. Okay. It's just gammy. No. Ooh, that that was word gammy on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible, so I'm going to give you a ding. <sighs> because okay. it was a terrible challenge. Right. This one's testing your, your fan levels, Phil, so I get know. ready for this one. I know. What are the surnames of all the members of One Direction? Oh, Go. God. Uh, Styles, Horan, Tomlinson, and. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Liam and Zane. Payne, Payne, and Malik. Mal Malik's not in One Direction anymore. Oh! Formally! Formally Malik. Oh! Mm. Ooh, yeah, okay. I get it. He's not in I'll One Direction. Oh! We played his song earlier. Okay. He's... Okay, Phil. Yeah, I got all of them in there. You know what? That's factually correct. I'm going to give you that. Yes, yes. yes. Just because you managed to weasel your way out of that with such... <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right, Dan. Yeah. Say three things that you have never done. What? <laughs> I've, I've never eaten a person. I've never <laughs> had a, a poo outside in public. What? The, that wasn't three. That was two. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> it's over. And I'm glad that you haven't pooed in public. <laughs> And that means I win! Oh. Yes. I'm so sorry for this whole show. <laughs> right, the song I have chosen, yep. I'm quite excited for. Okay. I, th I thought it'd give everyone's month a boost, because February's still a bit like, eh, it's February. It's, it's when people are like, oh no, the year's still happening. It's scientifically known as the February dip, <laughs> and I'm going to pick you all up with the eye of the tiger. Amazing. I want you all to do things in a montage, jump around, fix something, tell someone you love them. Go for it.
I the Tiger, really. I enjoyed that. Written? I bet everyone got so much done in that fix two minutes. Some, you said fix something in the list of things you want Everyone's people to do, a like a montage. shelf hanging off their wall. Now they don't. Now they don't. February has been done. fixed. Well, well done, you did that. So Woo! we've had, got some exciting news, haven't we, that we've heard recently. Uh, Radio One's big weekend have announced where it's going. What obscure corner of the country is it going to this year, Phil? Exeter. Exeter. Yeah, Boom. I've, I've been there. It's quite leafy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's what getting I've got people so far. hyped for a festival. It is a leafy place to happen. It'll be yep. even it's more down leafy. South. Tell people the lineup. Coldplay. Yep. Craig David. Uh huh. Ellie Golding, <laughs> Chasing Status, and Bring Me the Horizon so far. I liked your little deep voice for Ellie Golding there. It's like how they say on that, but Ellie Golding. Ellie Golding. And that was just the first few announced so far by Grimmy this morning, so that was very exciting. Yeah. The 28th and 29th of May yep. in Exeter. And so that would be cool. Find out how to get tickets. Listen to Grimmy's show on Monday, the 21st of March, and you could be there. Anyway, I think we're going to go to the seventh track of my mix CD I found in my drawer. Bill's Teenage Mixtape. We've had some gems, haven't we? We've had Early Muse, yep. Babylon Zoo. What's going to be next, Phil? Well, let's find out. Let's press play. Oh, it's, it's some 41 within too deep. Classic. Thanks. I remember pretending to be a skater too. Let's yep. all reminisce on those days. What happened then? In Too Deep, Sum 41. Is that your favourite song ever? Yeah. What does that remind you of back in your childhood, it Phil? It reminds me of wearing really baggy jeans. <laughs> Dan and Phil. <laughs> baggy <laughs> jeans. That is the secret to life. We have a final birthday fail. Hit us with it, Phil, as we feel sad. It says, on my birthday, I tripped over a balloon while hitting a piñata and fell face first into a pizza on the table next to me. Wow, and it Ouch. says that the children charged and she got stampled on as well. <laughs> oh, dear. That would truly ruin your birthday, getting trampled in a candy fueled stampede from other children, wouldn't it? That'd be horrific. So how has this made you feel? You, I, I mean, you, you literally ate two sheets of paper on yeah. your birthday. I feel better about my situation after hearing about the various nose incidents <laughs> and general horror going on in the world right now. Well, there we go. Thank you very much, everybody, for sending in your holiday feels. I think we feel better. Yep. Uh, plug again. Watch my documentary tomorrow on BBC Three. It's super edutainable. You can tune in with your grandparents and they can you learn can. things about video games. Yeah, definitely. And whether you're a Kanye stan or if you're 1DAF, just good luck with the future out there because it is a tumultuous time, isn't it? Definitely. It is a tumultuous time. A lot time. to go through, especially if you've got push notifications on. <laughs> I mean, that's just, it's the danger that I don't recommend for anybody. So you've just got Kanye on push notifications. <laughs> I've just got Kanye. I'm going to have to turn off. It's too much. Yeah. Okay, Hugh Stevens is up next on Radio 1 after us, and we are going to end the show with the new song from our YouTube bay, Troy Savan. Yay. We are, of course, talking about youth on BBC Radio 1.